Good morning, everyone. It's Friday, the second week of Lent. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You know, today's gospel is, one of, again, one of those stories that you always remember. It's one of those picture stories you can imagine where the landowner sends his son, and they, they of course, don't listen to his son, and they kill him. So as we begin, let's kind of reflect on the things in life that get us angry, things that take us beyond the blessings God has given to us. For the times we are unaware of God at work in our lives, we ask God's forgiveness. And so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grand Almighty God, that purified by the sacred practice of penance, you may lead us in sincerity of heart to attain the holy things to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Israel loved Joseph best of all his sons, for he was the child of his old age, and he had made him a long tunic. When his brothers saw that their father loved him best of all his sons, they hated him so much that they would not even greet him. One day when his brothers had gone to pasture their father's flocks at Shechem, Israel said to Joseph, your brothers, you know, are tending our flocks at Shechem. Get ready, I will send you to them. So Joseph went after his brothers and caught up with them in Dothan. They noticed him from a distance, and before he came up to them, they plotted to kill him. They said to one another, here comes that master dreamer. Come on, let us kill him and throw him into one of the cisterns here. We could say that a wild beast devoured him. We shall then see what comes of his dreams. When Reuben heard this, he tried to save him from their hands, saying, We must not take his life. Instead of shedding blood, he continued, just throw him into that cistern there in the desert, but do not kill him outright. His purpose was to rescue him from their hands and return him to his father. So when Joseph came up to them, they stripped him of the long tunic he had on. Then they took him and threw him into the cistern, which was empty and dry. They then sat down to their meal. Looking up, they saw a caravan of Ishlamites coming from Gilead, their camels laden with gum, balm, and resin to be taken down to Egypt. Judah said to his brothers, what is, what is to be gained by killing our brother and concealing his blood? Rather, let us sell him to, this, to these Ishlamites instead of doing away with him ourselves. After all, he is our brother, our own flesh. His brothers agreed. They sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember, Remember the, the marvels, marvels the Lord has done. When the Lord came down to famine on the land and ruined the crop that sustained them, he sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. Remember, Remember the, the marvels, marvels the Lord has, has done. done. They had weighed him down with fetters, and he was bound with chains, till his prediction came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember, Remember the marvels the Lord has done. The king sent him and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions. Remember, Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Friends, may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and elders of the people, hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, one they beat, another they killed, a third they stoned. Again, he sent other servants more numerous than the first ones, but they retreated in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out, in the, out of the vineyard and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, he will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper time. 
Jesus said to them, Did you never read in the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they knew that he was speaking about them. And although they were tempted to arrest, attempting to arrest him, they feared the crowds, for they regarded him as a prophet. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know if you were fortunate enough. I've been in, um, I've heard Mother Teresa speak twice. And one of the times she spoke, I don't remember which one it was, she told the story. This was in a small gathering before she was going to be before a large crowd of people. And she told the story about these European theologians, these guys that study the scripture and can tell you everything about the Bible and all the things we've learned about God. Well, they came over to Calcutta to see her at work. And what happened was they wanted to know how she did what she did. And she said to them, you try to do what I am doing, then you'll be able to understand and find joy in the work we do here. So she took them to one of the child care centers. She picked up a, a little girl that was playing in the mud. And she picked this little girl up all covered with mud and she gave the child a kiss. She waited for these very learned theologians to do the same. Not one of them did. Not one of these learned men who studied the scriptures followed her example. You know, it's kind of a reminder to us that we can make something faith that's safe and comfortable. We can make it simply words. We can make it simply religious practices. But you know, Jesus had people put their faith into action. That's when the real cost is. And it brought to mind for me um, talking to nurses um, who had been in the thick of COVID. If you remember in the beginning, you weren't allowed to go near anybody that had COVID. The, the wards in the hospital, there was all kinds of things. Protection. Nurses had to wear all this protection, and they didn't know if they were going to get COVID. And I've heard uh, many nurses tell me what it was like for them. They'd work their shift, not knowing if all the protective gear was going to work. Remember, they had to take care of the needs of these people with COVID, something nobody fully understood at the time or where it was going to go, but people were dying from it. So the nurses tell me how like they, when their shift was over, they'd go home and they would come in maybe through the garage and they wouldn't be able to hug their children, tuck their children in bed at night, kiss their children because obviously they didn't want to give their kids this horrible, horrible virus. But also the fact that what was very painful for them is they didn't know if they were going to be the next one to die. And so for these incredible caregivers, you know, maybe they never caught the virus. Obviously, maybe it never took their lives. But can you imagine thinking that every day, not being able to hug your kids or read them a bedtime story, or even they had to sit downstairs by themselves and eat their meal while the husband and maybe the kids were upstairs eating theirs. What a difficult time that would have been for them, just an unimaginable time. So I think for us, we should always appreciate sacrifices made. Some we know, but I'll bet you there's many more we really, really don't know. But let us remember, Jesus called people to put their faith in action. God bless. For all those people that do amazing things each day for their families, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who work in hospitals and nursing homes, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have asked us to pray for them, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. We may give children of the world today a better world, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God, our Father, we ask you to hear our prayer and to truly bless us that our faith may be put into action through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth has given and human hands have made. 
it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we eat this wine to give you fruit of the vine, work with human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May, May the Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise, for praise and, and glory of his name, for our, our good, good and the good of God's, God's holy church. church. May your merciful grace prepare us, O Lord, for the worthy celebration of these mysteries and lead us to it by a devout way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, through bodily fast to restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards. So we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we eat this bread, bread and drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, until, until you, you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember Bino Borzell, Nancy and John Stash, Robert Buglehole, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power, and the glory are yours, yours now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. So offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, world grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. O oh Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having received the pledge of eternal salvation, we pray, O Lord, that we may set course so well so as to attain the redemption you promised through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May God's blessing truly guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Have a good weekend, everyone.